My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can merge columns from different data tables with UI path. It was a great question I got from Damandeep Singh. Thank you for the great question, Damandeep, and thank you to all you other viewers from all your great questions. And Damandeep, he wants to know how we can merge uh, different columns from different data tables. And let me show you what I mean here. So I created a data sheet, actually a um, Excel sheet with three sheets in. Let me start it up. And I have a sheet one here with name, DOP and age. I'm not sure what this DOP is, but that's an attribute here. So we'll have a name, a DOP and age, and then we'll have three rows in. Then we will have a sheet two. And remember here, we can see that we have different column names. So here we got address, city and pin code. We want to merge these two together, so sheet so row one from sheet one will be merged with row one from sheet two. It will look like look like this because it can be a bit hard to explain, but let me just copy it in here. Then we'll have sheet two. Copy this. So the final product should look like this. That's a merge, and it's not. Uh, we cannot use the real activities, the data table activities, so we want to tweak them a bit and then we can make a solution. So let's get started. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So um, I deleted the sheet tree again because we want UiPath to create a force. Let's close down Excel and go to UiPath. First we will read the Excel sheet, so uh, let me find a read range. It's here, I'll choose the workbook activities. Because that one is the fastest, it's a bit faster than the Excel. So we need a workbook path. And I just placed my workbook on a desktop. So shift right click, copy as path. Then I'll create a variable down here. Like in the main here. Create variable, str path. That will just be my data path. And I will just paste in their actual path over here. Then I'll close down the variable manager and up here I can just put in str path. I'll delete this because I want uh, to read everything here and I'll read sheet 1. Then I want to output it to a data table. So go over here and output, control K, say dt sheet 1. This will output it to a, a data table called dt sheet 1. I'll do the same for reading the sheet 2, so I just copy this and paste it below. So here I'll say sheet 2, like this. And over here I'll delete this output because we won't, don't want to output it to the same variable. So control K again, dt sheet 2, like this. So first, now we have uh, read our two uh, sheets into data tables. So now our mission will be, let me open the um, Excel sheet again, because it will be a bit more easy to look at. So our mission now is that we want to, uh, we got the sheet one, that will be or the data table from sheet one, that will be our output. So we want to add, first we want to add the column names from sheet two. And we want to create, I want to create a solution that, uh, say that now we got three, but we can, if even if we added one row here and then have some values in, uh, sorry, one column, then it will automatically update it. So that's our mission first. Then we will fill the data in afterwards. So uh, what we'll do here is that we will create a variable here. We will create a variable and that will be an array that will store the column headers from sheet two. So variables. And this one here will be an array, we can call it array, column, names. Then under variable type, change to an array of t, and change this to a string, array of strings, like this. Now we can get the column names from our data table dt sheet 2. So just find an assign here. And this one will just be uh, to our array of column names, then we will assign uh, an expression. So let me get up here, actually a value, but we'll make an expression. So here we will use link, and I covered this in an earlier video. Don't um, dwell in this too much. If you're not familiar with the language, just try to write it out, think about what we're doing. 
and then uh, it will when you've done it a couple of times you'll start to stand uh, start to understand uh, more and more so here basically what we're doing is that we are selecting their the column uh, headers and then we will um, be getting them to an, to our array so uh, let me just uh, Auto completion here. Then we will have. Our, oh, we got it here. And then we will say select DC uh, column name like this. And then we can just add them to our array. So again, it wouldn't make sense to make a video about link, but uh, go back to earlier or I made a video uh, about this exact topic. So then we'll just, so now we got him in our variable. And again, if you want the workflow, by the way, I created a homepage. Um, it's just a simple homepage still, but I put in the files from the workflow here. I'll link to that in the description. Also, if you just want to uh, maybe uh, take a look, I made some reframe work, I made some regex. Actually, this regex, I haven't posted that on my uh, videos at all. So uh, yeah, just go to anasjensen.org to find the workflow files or to find other fun things. Again, this is under construction, but I have, I'm having fun with creating articles to it. But let's get back. So uh, here we have uh, this assign. Now what we want to do is that we want to uh, loop through uh, this array. So I uh, find a for each here. Drag this guy in. Let me delete this body. So for each we could, uh, item is fine um, in our array column names like this. That will here our column names from um, the DTC2 will be stored. So for each item, uh, so for each column name, we will just add a column to our sheet, a DT sheet one, right? So uh, let me find a add data column here, drag this guy in. And we want to add it to the DT sheet one because that will be our output. What do we want to add? What will be the column name? Well, that, that will just be the item up here. So item like this. And now we just need to fix, so mark this for each and have a string here. So this one will work. But we, we won't see anything because this we will just add it to the, the data table and we cannot see it. But uh, let's try to um, just create a simple right line to check that we actually get the data columns um, written in uh, DT sheet one. So uh, let's find an output data table. This output data table will just output it to a string. So that'll be DT sheet one. It will output it to a string, so control K, let's say DT test, and then we will just have a right line to write out our data table. This data table will only consist of all the headers and the data from um, sheet uh, one. Then we will fill in the data from sheet two afterwards. So str test like this. Now we can run it. Like this, and we can go down to our output. Now we can see that we actually added the, the column header successfully. We got name, dub, and age, that from what was from sheet one, but now we got address, city, and pin code. We can see here that we don't have the values read, ready, but uh, we haven't created that, so that makes sense, right? Let us close this one again. And now let's think how we can add the values from sheet two to sheet one. What I will do here is that I will um, loop through all the rows in DT sheet 2. That one will be a for each row here. Just drag it in here. So for each row in DT sheet 2. And what I need to do here is that I need to know what row I'm in here so I can update uh, the what row I'm in in the DT sheet 2 so I can update the corresponding row in DT sheet 1. So I'll go to output in this index. This will create an index variable. This is just an index that keeps track on what row we are in. So control K, int, index we'll call it, and that will be an integer. So let me delete this body and again, you know I'll hate them. So then we'll just drag in the sign like this. And what do we want to update? Well, 
let's start with a static one so we'll just update uh, the address um, the address column and then I'll make a dynamic solution that whatever we have in uh, the sheet DT sheet 2 it will just automatically update so but let me just create a static solution first because then we'll see what we do so we want to update DT sheet 1 right then we will update the rows parentheses and we want to update the same number of rows that uh, that the same row number in sheet 1 as we're in in sheet 2 so that one will just be our index counter that's why we created it in index like this then dot item that is the column name and I'll just created a static um, thing here so this one will just update uh, the address column uh, in the sheet one so and we will just update with the corresponding address uh, from sheet two row that will just be row item because we are in the q and row row item address like this so this one will add the address to our data table let's verify that it works now we can go to output and see that we actually added the address here but this one will be a terrible solution because then we will need to have three assigns for this solution and if we added uh, columns to our sheet then we wouldn't have it so let's create a dynamic solution so what we will do is that we will loop through our column names because then we can just if we can do that let me open the expression here then we can just add, um, replace this address with our column names one by one and of course we can do it we will do the same by the address here so uh, what we'll do is that we'll find a for each um, for each here drag it in in this for each row in here so uh, we'll have the for each here let me delete this body and first mark the for each and change the type argument to string like here we will loop through our column name so that will be our array of column names then we will drag this assign drag this guy in here and then we can change so first we will change the two so instead of the address we will just have the item because that is the column name so the first one then we will update them one by one so we will delete this quotation marks and address and just put in item. I know item item, but there. So then we will edit the value and that will just be item as well. So now we are updating all columns. Even if we add columns, we will automatically update them here. Let's see how that works. Run the file. We will. Now we've done it. And we can go to output and we can see that we now have our, our pin code and the city as well so mission accomplished almost we want to write it to sheet 3 instead of just output it into a right line so then we will find a right range still choose the workbook activities drag in the right range here and our workbook path will it will one was just the str path here we will write to sheet 3 we will delete this range and then our data table that will be DT sheet 1 because we updated that up here. Then we want to add some headers to it and now we are essentially done. So let's try to run it. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos. And also, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So now we can go down to our, go out to our data sheet. We will open it. And we can see here that we in sheet 3 we updated it we actually accomplish our merge so uh, that's it and thanks for the great question um, uh, down deep if any of you have any questions or just comments i mean even though it's just a great video or a bad video if that is then uh, it will be highly appreciated have a good day bye bye